Yeah, so welcome back uh the, the two folks that were watching our test stream there and hello to any new people i'm trying something new it's a long weekend for me it's a turkey weekend thanksgiving weekend so time for some fun and just thought it would be cool to try out the very first character of the week uh paradox is showcasing characters of the weeks for crusader kings 3 and uh, I thought we would play as Richard the Lionheart here. We are a Crusader Kings 3 uh, streamer, so that's what we'll be doing here. And uh, yeah, probably going through the characters of the week. Uh, we also have streams happening on our YouTube channel. We have tutorials on our YouTube channel, so check those out uh, as well when we're not streaming. But for now, we're here uh, playing as Richard the Lionheart here. So. Let's jump over to our game here, and yeah, this is him. I'm excited. He is uh, a very powerful looking character here. Really nice stats. Uh, he is brave. He is ambitious. He is arrogant. He is a skilled tactician and a logistician, uh, which means he has good supply duration and travel safety. Uh, he is a poet, so uh, that's interesting. He's got sort of a romantic side here. He is a uh, comely poet, so uh, probably uh, uh, well loved by the ladies of the court. There, uh, we are. We are also uh, heterosexual here, so we uh, will be wooing ladies exclusively there. And uh, we are a formidable banneret, banneret, banneret. Uh, this is a knightly trait, so as a knight we got this trait that gives us three extra prowess, uh, pr some prestige, and opinion of people of our culture here. We are also Norman, speaking of culture, which I find interesting. Um, I guess we are, we are of the uh, Plantagenet uh, dynasty here, uh, the famous uh, <laughs> dynasty that is controlling a good chunk of France here as well. Our father is Henry, King Henry II, Kurt Mantle, and he's called that because he is known for favoring shorter traveling cloaks at the expense of more florid or elaborate uh, clothing there. So it seems like our dad is a military man as well there. Uh, probably also taught us how to woo the ladies but he's Norman too, so I'm not sure why uh, why the choice to make us Norman. I didn't think that was the part of the historical record there, but uh, nevertheless we are. And that does give us a bonus, I believe, to uh, knightly, like, knightly traits. Maybe it's this one. It's one of these two that was giving us the opinion boost to people of our culture. Uh, because we are sort of, uh, we, we have a focus on chivalry, our culture. We are both bellicose, uh, and, and chivalrous here. So the poet trait has additional bonuses. The poet trait is more common. Uh, martial education is more valued. So that explains sort of our, that, that kind of explains us in a, in a nutshell there. Uh, aspiring blade master has a bonus. Um, Content or Craven is looked down upon. We are slightly more prone to injury during battles. Uh, and we may challenge our rivals to single combat. We can hold a jest. And we can be a knight errant. Oh, this is like the uh, decision that we can take if we... I think we have to be an adventurer, though. We have to be a knightly adventurer to become a knight errant. Uh, and then injury, oh, injury resistance, otherwise known as prowess, is plus five as well. So we are a very good knight. We get an extra two knights, accolade glory gain, 20%, and legend spread of 5%. So this culture values the heroic deeds of long gone ancestors. The romantic retelling of the lives of knights will inspire generations to come. So there's that one, and then there's this one, audacious... Uh, cadets? I think this is a new trait. I don't remember this prior to the DLC dropping there. Uh, we can recruit Conroy. I hope I'm saying that right. Those seem to be heavy cavalry there. Uh, this does allow us to become an adventurer. I don't think uh, 
that Richard will be doing that given he's ambitious, but we could become an adventurer uh, down the line, I guess. Uh, we're more likely to become adventurers, but we're also more likely to be ambitious. Uh, warriors gain extra combat skills over time. And knights in mercenary- oh, mercenary court? I didn't know that was a thing we could do either. Mercenary court. Uh, uh, we gain prowess more rapidly in that kind of court. Uh, okay, yeah, so mercenary higher cost is reduced. Siege time is reduced. Travel speed and safety is increased. Uh, heavy cavalry regiments, we get an extra two of those. And the, dam the damage and pursuit of our heavy cavalry is increased because we are knights we're charging charging on horseback into battle there so i always like to go over these things before i start a campaign take a look at my character take a look at their culture and uh take a look at um like their religion i mean we're catholic so that's fairly uh <laughs> fairly explainable there uh just to see like where where we fit what kind of character are we? Of course, uh, this is uh, a, a real person. Uh, Richard uh, was, a, was a real person. I, I tend to play as sort of uh, characters that I made myself. So that's why I thought it would be fun to try something different on, on Twitch here and play uh, some of the historical characters that Paradox has worked so hard to uh, model and create. And uh, we can experience their stories here together. Uh, but speaking of that, I did uh, do a little bit of a modding here. It's not not myself. I didn't make the mod, but I am using uh, Community Flavor Pack, the Barber Shop, and the Bigger Battles mod uh, on this playthrough there. So the reason that I chose, well, I didn't really choose to do it, but I accidentally loaded the game with my mods active because I intended to not mod this. But look what ended up happening. We have... A court artifact, we have Excalibur. We, we are in possession of the magical sword uh, of which uh, is we are meant to uh, unite, uh, unite Britain with there. So, I mean, Britain has already been fairly united by my father or my grandfather, maybe. No, looks like it was my father. Uh, so uh, I guess uh, we'll just use it as, as a symbol that we are the rightful king there of course we are not the actual heir to uh, england right now that would be our brother and our nemesis we are nemesis of our brother here uh uh co-king henry the second the young the young king henry who is also a uh, very handsome and skilled knight there but is uh ailing and he is unwell i guess not sh too sure, not much of a... I don't have any historical background here, so I don't know uh, what happened to uh, to Henry here that caused him to die young, but it seems like that is sort of the scripted story that he will die, uh, which will then put, uh, put myself in line there. You can see my father has uh, lots of kids there. His first child is a bastard, Prince Joffrey. And uh, then we have Prince William, who died young. Then Henry, the young, uh, the young king there, who is in the process of dying, and then finally me. So that's where I come in. And then we've also got another, yeah, you know, another, a second Joffrey who is legitimate, uh, who we're also rivals of. So we're not a fan of him either. We're very much competitive with our uh, living brothers there. And then we finally have a much younger brother, Prince John. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, like, this is the sort of Robin Hood uh, story, I guess, where um, Richard went off to fight in the Crusade in the Holy Land, and I think it was this young lad, Prince John, who uh, was covering for him and uh, was, was robbing all the peasants there and causing so much trouble. Is it also the same, uh, the same Prince John or King John that signed the Magna Carta? That is a question that I have. I, I need to brush up on my history there. I uh, love the game. I love, uh, you know, movies about this time period and, and shows th and things, but I don't have a lot of historical background. Uh, but speaking of movies, I do really enjoy a movie that is sort of set around this, this family here, uh, Henry II and his family, uh, called The Lion in Winter. It's sort of an older movie from the 60s, I think. 
Uh, so yeah, if you're a film buff or you like sort of older, more stagier movies there, uh, I would uh, recommend that you check that out. It's about Henry and his family um, meeting up over Christmas, I believe, <laughs> Christmas time. So the castle's all decorated, all cozy, and everyone here is all scheming uh, to figure out who will get what when Henry dies there so i believe i think uh, it's uh, a very young or a younger anthony hopkins playing uh richard there so that's pretty funny if uh if you've never seen anthony hopkins as a younger man uh, which in my case i don't think i have that is pretty entertaining there and uh if you're a bond fan you also have uh, a very young timothy dalton playing i believe the uh Dauphin, uh, Philip of France there. I think he's a little bit older, maybe more like 18 instead of 13 there, but uh, it's a fun movie, especially if you like just people meeting and talking in rooms and plotting and scheming. If that was your favorite part of uh, Game of Thrones there, then uh, you might enjoy that movie. Uh, and then, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention is our mother, who's currently in jail, and we are good friends with her, it looks like. she We are her favorite child. We are friends with her. We love her. She is Queen Eleanor of Aquitaine, uh, who is played by Catherine Hepburn, I think, in the movie there, so very famous uh, actress from that time period. Uh, but yes, she uh, she is probably where we got our beauty from. Perhaps our bravery, along with uh, along with our old man here. Oh, he's actually not brave. I thought for sure he would be. He's certainly uh, gallant and uh, ambitious, but uh, not brave. So we've got kind of the best traits of our mom and our dad, I think. Uh, but uh, we're gonna have to uh, do something to get her out of prison. I mean. She's our mom, we love her. How do we feel about our dad? We uh, declared war. Did he declare war on me or did I declare war on him? That's a part of history that I don't think I know. So we kind of have a lukewarm relationship looks like. So very antagonistic with our brothers. Don't seem to mind our sisters or our uh, bastard brother so much. Uh, very much love our mom and uh, sort of lukewarm with our dad. So that's kind of where we stand. Oh, we got like a little, a young, a very young bastard brother, Prince William as well. So yeah, lots going on. We've got Excalibur. Uh, we've got, I, I think we got this event here as soon as I, I just started the game before I realized that we had uh, the magic sword here. And uh, then I decided to stop and uh, wait until we could stream there so who knows where we found this uh lying around uh being distributed by uh stra strange women in ponds i guess perhaps a strange woman in a pond uh gave this to us it does say that uh there's nary a ruler in britain who doesn't claim to have the true excalibur so it seems like there's a multitude of excaliburs but we hold uh this one i don't know who has uh who has any more? We can see if our dad has any. I don't... Doesn't look like he... Oh, he's got a lot of things. I can't get rid of this event, so I'm just sticking it down there. Wow, he has kind of an ugly castle, yeah? That's kind of ugly. I'm a little bit shocked, Henry. You, uh... It's definitely very medieval -y, but this is a, a wall. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. There's not a lot of natural light coming in there. Oh, there we go. Where'd my cord artifacts go there? So, obviously the the banners, of course, of our house. Uh, the sandals of Jesus he has. That's interesting. Uh, he also has this sword called the Kurtana. Uh, this is claimed to be Kurtana, the Sword of Mercy. The legendary sword was once wielded by Tristan against Morhalt. Uh, this would also be why the tip of the sword is missing. A piece lost to the thick skull of the Irish giant. Oh my, he's got like a mystical Celtic uh, sword there. That's very uh, interesting. Uh, as well, he's got the head of St. Edmund. So this is Edmund demanded he would become a saint from the moment of his birth. Legends tell he was the king of East Anglia who volunteered as a sacrifice to the Vikings rather than let his people be slaughtered by them. Interesting. So these are all very illustrious artifacts that our dad has. So 
I guess maybe our Excalibur is uh, is not as cool as as some of the stuff he's got. I don't know why he hasn't uh, put them all on display. I guess because we just started the game. There's our uh, little brother. Oh, we can't click on any of these folks? I guess not. Probably because I've got this event open. But uh, yeah, so we've got one artifact. Our dad's got a lot more. So we'll have our work cut out for us. But I think in general... We feel strongly that we are, you know, the legitimate heir. Of course, our brother being our nemesis, or both of our brother, our, our brothers being our nemesis there, and us possessing this sword. It's too bad you can't actually wield it. It's a court artifact, so I guess they were trying to balance it. They didn't want people uh, slaughtering, <laughs> slaughtering with the Excalibur there, but it's a sign of our legitimacy and uh, proof of our ambition there, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, we have, we're also betrothed to Princess Adele. <laughs> Princess Adele, not the singer. Uh, Princess Adele of France. So, wow, we're going to have a powerful alliance there. Uh, so that, that will certainly help our ambitions as well. And I think we are... One other thing I want to look at. We are regent of... Yes, we are our mother's regent, I think. I am sharing power with this random heir of mine, uh, but my mother, who is my liege, I am her regent. So I am acting as her regent right now because she's in jail. So that explains why I got this uh, event there. Uh, I don't have a lot of troops, uh, about, about uh, 1,200 troops or so, which is nothing to sneeze at, but I am going to inherit... Uh, some duchies. Uh, this one from my mother? Nope, that one from my father. Poitiers? Oh my, my French should be, uh, much better than it is. I learned, uh, I, I was made to learn French in, in school here, but, uh, I, I'm not very good at it, so I guess it's Gas Gascogne that I'm going to be, uh, inheriting from my mom and Poitiers from my dad, which would be, uh, these two duchies here. So there's Poitiers and there's Gascogne. Aquitaine is going to be in the middle. Uh, that's going to be ended up held by my nemesis. So I'm sure we'll be going to war uh, for that one. And anything else? No Armagnac, Bourbon? No, some of these other ones have not been uh, formed yet. So maybe that's something that we can do. But I think for now, let us try to get our mom out of jail. I think we could... We could pay... No, we can't pay the ransom. If we had a hundred gold, maybe. Maybe then. Right now, he's at zero. We could offer him... No, we don't have a hook. So, we'll have to work on that. Uh, yeah, I think we'll work on that. We can obviously choose our, our uh, lifestyle and, and... Oh, yeah, we'll get married. Okay, so we'll just do some basic uh, house cleaning here. <laughs> Uh, to start. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. We're good to go. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. We'll, we'll look at some more stuff once I get rid of this event. But yeah, we're, we are our mother's regent. So we're meeting with uh, Count Guillaume of Angloem. Oh my, I'm sorry. Any French uh, French speaking folks uh, watching this there. You'll have to forgive me, uh, but uh, we're telling him several of them, several of these witnesses to your oath of fealty confirm that you promise to exceed your obligations, not to merely match them. Count Guillaume scared, stares back at me from across the council table, gobsmacked. Are you suggesting that the testimony of some no-name petty nobility justifies my owing my liege even more? He stutters out, still stunned by the audacity of my claims. It's a risky suggestion, but my mandate as regent demands I advance the position of Queen Eleanor. So, yeah, we're trying to get more money out of this guy. He is stubborn and diligent, but we are ambitious and arrogant. And, of course, we love our mom more than anything. She's uh, very into money. She's a fortune builder that's not our mom that's our wife sorry about that she there she is <laughs> she has pretty good stewardship though uh she is diligent and patient so i don't 
Athena, would you want to squeeze this guy? I'm not sure how she would feel, but we certainly, uh, we certainly do. So we can tell her that uh, the witnesses are material and his oaths are sacred. We are less likely to succeed there because our learning is just kind of basic. Uh, well, we could, oh, we could ask him to just pay up, give us money. Basically, we're taking a bribe from him. Eh, I mean, maybe. We are kind of scary, right? Or uh, perhaps this is all a bit nebulous. We can back down. I don't think we're doing either of those. Uh, but I don't think we would steal from our mom. So let's tell him his oaths are sacred. And it falls apart under scrutiny. We've done an abuse of power causing strife with our vassals. And Yeom is uh, unhappy with us. I mean, that's probably on our mom for putting her... Uh, somewhat of a meathead uh, son uh, son in charge as the as her regent there and does she have any uh diplomatically inclined uh, no not 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 him uh does she have any diplomatically inclined kids that are old enough maybe one of her daughters but they're married off yeah it looks like her, she taught her daughter's diplomacy in her son's war which uh Sounds very metal there, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that was the way to go in the Middle Ages there. Okay, so, uh, Crown Authority. We could increase our Crown Authority here, since we are ambitious. We would again lose some opinion with vassals, but we don't really have any vassals. Just this guy, Mayor Cyril. Um, I guess we can hold off on that. We could... Oh, we, we don't want to become an adventurer. We definitely want land. We're in, uh, in line for land there. So let's go down here. And we're definitely going to grab authority. Authority. <laughs> you got to say it like the, the uh, Baldur's Gate uh, narrator lady there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I love this one. You get extra martial, but you also get dread and control. Uh, which I have some videos on my YouTube channel going over these perks. And basically, you can never go wrong with extra dread and control because you are bringing out uh, more money, more troops out of your holdings, and uh, any vassals that you have are much less likely to rebel. So you can't go wrong with that. We're going to grab that one. And uh, we can get married, I guess. I think if we unpause, we'll get married as well. Uh, but we have a lot <laughs> happening here. We could, uh, oh, we gotta get, uh, we gotta get a physician. I always forget to do that. Let's look at who we've got at court. Um, we've got Aubrey, the, uh, the bishop. Uh, she's 27. He's also arrogant and arbitrary. He's of a mixed opinion of us, but he's got very good learning, so we could make him our physician, of course. Uh, we have a lady here, Beatrix. She's a teenager. She is, has very middling stats there. Uh, what else we got? We got Renault. Renault? Renault? Renault de Chatillon? No. <laughs> no, not the guy from, not the guy from Kingdom of Heaven. Just a lowborn guy. Uh, we have, uh, he's, oh, he's a very good, he probably could be a good steward or something like that. He's a zealous uh, but fearful man who likes collecting coin. Uh, we have a sadistic lady, Isabel. She uh, she's somewhat of a fancies herself a warrior. She's not very good at anything else. Uh, we have a, another young Reno uh, who is uh, somewhat of a general, not very good of a knight, but somewhat okay there and we have a giantess named eleanor uh, who is um apparently a gray eminence but doesn't have the stats to back that up at all so yeah we have some weird core deers at court none of them particularly useful and we have sophie who is uh you know again fancies herself a bit of a general but is deceitful there so nobody really stands out to me i will grab this guy as my physician for now everyone else's stats are somewhat middling i guess we could put uh no right no you definitely should be the steward what is going on why is why did we not have you as the steward there so let's swap them you definitely don't belong there uh let's wow this is terrible <laughs> we have a person with zero intrigue as our uh, as our spy master, we don't want that. Um, 
Oh my, I guess Reno. I can uh, we got the two Reynolds on the on the council there. And uh no, you definitely should not be the uh <laughs> Oh my god, we're just swapping people around. Uh, okay, Reno, never mind, change of plans, you're now the marshal. A ba very baby-faced, uh, marshal there. Uh, oh my, uh, Sophie, I guess you're up on, uh, you're up as the spy master, which we're gonna piss him off. I guess we could remove him. Move him over here, and Sophie goes in there. And this is somewhat looking better, but still quite terrible. Hopefully as we uh, inherit more lands, that will get better. There's really no one else to put in as Chancellor right now. So our, our mayor is our Chancellor, despite being very not good at that. Um, but there we go. We've got a council, at least for now. And we could swing the scales of power against our mother. But we love her, so we're not going to do that. We can station our men-at-arms. We've got uh, some pikemen and some light horsemen, which over here on the plains is uh, mostly good for horsemen there. They have uh, a bonus in the plains, so let's go ahead and uh, station them there. As we inherit more land, we'll maybe find a place for our pikemen as well. They're better in mountainous or hilly terrain. I would love to pick up some uh, Conroy as well, but they're very expensive. Uh, are they less expensive than the armored horsemen there? They've got 120 damage, 55 toughness, and 30 pursuit versus... Oh, the armored horsemen are, actu are actually tougher and better at pursuit. Why might that be? Why might that be? Uh... They're more expensive though too, so I guess this is just like a cheaper version of Armored Horseman. Still would like to get some once we're a bit more powerful than he counts. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, we can create an accolade. We don't have very good knights. We can negotiate alliances with uh, John, with our aunt Isabel of Surrey, or with our nephew Heinrich of Stad. I don't think we'll be doing any of that. Uh, Potential alliances uh, with our father, with our nemesis, no. Uh, with our rival, with our, yeah, sister-in-law. We've got a lot of marriages. Oh, well, we're, we have a, a mayor, a, an alliance with the King Alfonso of Castile. Interesting. This is very interesting. I wonder if I could make an alliance with him. Would he, would he accept that? He would not. <laughs> he would not. We're just a count. He's probably like, who the hell are you? Uh, we have Gwynedd as well, my uncle-in-law. My goodness. Welsh. Uh, Welshman there. Uh, Duke Henry the Liberal of Champagne. Uh, Cham Champagne. I know. I know. I'm just being silly. Uh, is renowned for his open-handed munificence and benefactations. I wish I understood what that said. Um, <laughs> we've got Tybalt the Good of Bula. Um, righteous disposition and commitment to the value of his faith. Interesting. I mean, are we sure about that? Are we sure about that? He tortures people. Um, we are in line to inherit a lot. Let's, uh, let's close that there. We're second in line for the Kingdom of England. Second, second, third. Second, second, third, third, third. Where's our... F yeah, there we go. First in line for Gascon and Poitiers, uh, as well as Bordeaux and Maine. Sable. Yeah, we're going to have a lot more land coming our way soon, and then we can war for even more. So I think... Uh, I think we'll just leave it. We're going to have the alliance with France as soon as our marriage kicks off. So let's just see what happens there. And I should have enough soon to uh, ransom my mom. Oh, she's already out! Hey, there she goes. She's out of the jail. I didn't have to pay any money. Uh, I'm still her regent, though. Interesting. She's not... Uh, I cannot negotiate a lot. What? I cannot negotiate an alliance with my mother, who we're so friendly with? Uh, we are close family. Her opinion of me is good. 
Apparently I'm a claimant and a difference in rank, so wow, mother, that is hurtful to me. Uh, oh, I can send her a poem. Maybe I'll do that since I she just got out of jail. I can siphon her treasury. Oh my. Uh, modify our contract? No, I don't think I will. Let's send her a poem. Um, a word about her legacy, a word about strife, a work dealing with their incompetence. No. Uh, a work about legacy. I mean, she is 56. I wish I could just send her a happy one. A work about strife. Uh, no, I don't think we'll do that. Legacy. Let's send her a poem about legacy. And the poem is lauded. I didn't even get to compose it, though. It just, just spammed it, uh, spammed it right away. Uh, that's unfortunate. I wonder if I can duel since oh yes i i can i uh i'm able to duel my rivals i can challenge my rivals to single combat so he's already sick could we like sicken him even more he would accept my challenge oh a non-lethal single combat commences uh well actually he's quite strong considering he's sick Sick of what? I'm not really sure. Uh, we have this guy as well. He also has 14 prowess. I am ambitious and brave. Um, I feel like I don't have any stress right now, so I would prefer to have like a reason. Like maybe he'll he'll uh do or say something that will cause me to become enraged. I have become the Chancellor of Aquadine. I mean. Uh, <sighs> I'm not very good at that, mother, but that's fine. I accept your, uh, I accept your offer. Is she, she's 18. Hello, king, are we going to be married soon? Shall I simply, oh, there we go. We just got married. We just got married. Can we hold a feast? We should do that. Oh, there's our alliance. Um, let's do that. A wedding feast. A wedding feast. A glorious feast we shall have uh and the honorary guest shall be uh, my mother uh can it be my wife yes princess adele i'm sure knowing richard we would make it ourselves since we are ambitious but we'll make her our honored guest the princess of france and uh we're not traveling anywhere we could make this and even crazy no we don't have enough money to make it a crazy feast uh, a number of courses we could bump that no we can't do that either all right then we uh we'll just be having a regular old feast why is it at 70 base cost high medieval era exotic delicacies and appropriate all right interesting well that's all the money that we have we can we could seduce our our new wife uh, with our poetry, maybe. Let's see. Uh, yes, there she is. Let us seek to seduce her. We have only thing, well, only one thing on our mind. Um, seducing your target. Okay. Let's go. We are, uh, again, we are, we are very romance-minded uh, character, and we're comely as well. Uh, so, uh, good luck to you both. She's lustful, so she may yet, uh, fall for my charms. We have a lovely time ahead of us. Uh, my marriage. Yes, the realm expects us to throw a wedding celebration. Well, that's what we're doing right now. I will collect the uh, the wedding, the payment for that from my from my uh, peasants there because uh, we we spent it on the wedding already. So we're getting some of that back. Uh oh, she passed limited crown authority. So let's do the same. I'm fully your lead, mother. I, uh, I think it's funny that we're a bit of a mama's boy here. It's like Archer or something. We're a very skilled uh, man in our own right, but we still follow, follow whatever our mother wants us to do. Let's speed that up a little bit, just to uh, get it to start. I kind of get annoyed at how long it takes sometimes. Oh, father's at the wedding, uh, rather the feast. That is good, everyone. Um. Everyone's come to pay their 
to pay their uh, well wishes to the new newlyweds. Uh, my brothers have not come, which I don't want them there, but my mother and father have come, so that is very good, very nice. And we've only got a little longer until, wow, <laughs> mom's really hitting the wine there. Uh, but uh, here we go, the wedding is ready to start, the mood is bright and spirits are high. Welcome, friends. So, we got a hook on Count Hugh of Lusignan. Oh, is this the, of, uh, is this like Guy de Lusignan? Oh my, is this the same house? Oh dear, well, he's, uh, he's someone that we probably want a hook on. The other guests are laughing and chattering in the noisy hall, making it hard to focus on the gruel in front of me. Gruel? This is our wedding. We should not be eating gruel. I draw lines and engagements in the greasy sludge as I think of ways to counter battle plans. Wow, we're uh, we're thinking only of battle on our on on the, on the day of our wedding feast here. Uh, this seems like it might work, so we gain a hundred military lifestyle uh, experience there, and uh, Queen Eleanor lauds my efforts there. Uh, we become friends. Oh, we become friends with our bishop. We spoke all evening on a variety of subjects, and it would seem that we have a lot in common. I had such a good time. Uh, alright, good. We want the bishop to like me. He's, uh, can be quite powerful there. Uh, oh, we gained a hook on our own mother. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We've got a prank. Uh, we've got... Uh, a peacock. Skin cooked and stuffed. Oh, dear. Poor peacock. Uh, however, as they uh, don't fan, uh, of, oh, is this, what? Don't fan, this, uh, this is not the, uh, Prince of France, this is just a guy named Don't fan, the troubadour. Uh, as he brought his knife close to one of them, the fowl came to with a shriek. It wasn't cooked at all. It pecked Dauphin's nose before bursting forth among the screaming and laughing guests. As the bird ran wild, Countess Maud of Alec. Wow, we've got an uh, Irish Irish gal over here at the wedding uh, feast here. Uh, Countess Maud rose to the challenge. It proved great entertainment to see her desperately chase the raving creature across tables. In the end, she managed to scare the peacock towards the great hall where it escaped into the night. Okay, thank you, animal whisperer lady. Uh, we got raucous entertainment there. Medium health boost and reduction in stress. Uh, okay, so sitting opposite my wife, Princess Adele, provides me with the treasure trove of ways to tease her without breaking the rules of propriety. Uh, with a hearty yet languid lick. Ew, I collect a heavy mouthful of sauce coating my lamb. Oh god, we maintain eye contact the entire time. Wow, that doesn't, that doesn't sound appealing at all. I thought you were meant to be, uh, a romantic poet there, Richard. That's, that's, that's not... That sounds like a Viking to me, not not a uh, not a man practiced in the art of seduction. There, uh, I can see the look on her face. I can see from the look on her face that Adele gets my message. What I can't discern is her expression. Is that lavicious interest or a tumbling stomach? It's difficult to say. Oh, uh, perhaps one more bite to hammer home the point. No, she's probably not into that. She's, uh, she is, uh, lustful, but she's kind of fearful. I don't think she likes the, uh, the weird, like, whatever we're doing right now. It's a little bit, uh, aggressive, I guess. Uh, we could do, she prefers honest talk. We could be more honest. We gain stress because we're brave, but we're more likely to form an intimate relationship with her. I mean... I am, I am, uh, versed with words there, and she, she's actually not good at diplomacy, but, uh, no, we're not, we're gonna do this one, we're gonna do honest talk, and our conversations proved more interesting, there we go, we got it, uh, after days, uh, nights of, wow, this is a long feast of, uh, joyous company, my feast is soon to be over, where every guest seems to be pleased, except perhaps Dolphin, who's still clutching his nose where the peacock marked him. Oh dear, we lost some stress. Oh, and we're holding a gr- Oh, he's got a gr- uh, Do we have a grudge on him? What? Started holding a grudge. Um, yes, he's got a grudge on us because we had a bird that was alive, pecked his nose, which... 
I don't know, man. That's not my... Uh, take it up with the cook. I didn't do it. Uh, so now we can toast Adele here. We can toast her, but we're gonna get stressed for being arrogant. Uh, we could call her a coward. Or uh, thank everyone. F oh, make everyone thank us for our hospitality. You're welcome, basically. Like that song from Moana. <laughs> uh, we are we gain prestige and we lose stress, but our wife is less than pleased. I mean, she likes me a lot. Uh, if I toast her, she likes me even more. So, <sighs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Let's say my father, who's like lustful and forgiving and stuff, and, and a seducer. I'm much more of a, of a brute, so I'll thank everyone for my hospitality. Uh, and she still likes me. And look at that, she, she only lo she like, she just bounced down to 57 and went right back up to 67, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so the candles are flickering out, the last of the guests have left. Uh, soon word will reach every corner of the realm that my magnificence is unparalleled. Oh my. Uh, so with that, it's done. Um, everybody that attended gains 10 opinion of me. We gain 115 prestige. We could become an eager reveler. We got 50 legitimacy. That's a thing that we have to manage since we're playing a feudal uh, on our other campaign on YouTube. We were playing administrative uh, as an administrative vassal so we didn't actually have a legitimacy just influence on that campaign but now we're back with legitimacy and we yeah we increased our level to our legitimacy level to recognized we lost stress and the our county had a great banquet so that's very good let's see can we actually continue to seduce our wife here the odds are good so let's start a scheme to do that. The schemes have been reworked. I mean, this one is fairly normal, um, but some schemes you have to select different, um, what should I call them? Like uh, agents, I guess, <laughs> agents that are gonna join the scheme and assist you doing different tasks. But in this case, it's just, uh, just me and my wife there. We could decide uh, to take a, a certain approach against uh, against any intrigue, uh, perhaps from my brothers. We're certainly not going to withdraw from view. Uh, we could double or double the guards, and we have a hundred percent success for opposing a murder or uh, schemes to steal uh, steal Excalibur, perhaps. But we also. Uh, have a 15% oh it's more likely for someone to succeed at seducing or eloping with us so that seems I don't really care about that I don't mind being seduced I think we could also strengthen the sentries which will reduce seduction and increase murder so we don't want that one uh, we could do arbitrary arrests uh, minus 25% secrecy and we gain tyranny and Opinion is reduced. I, th I don't think we're that much of a brute or bounties for whispers where we're losing money and we reduce secrecy there. Kind of like Varus uh, giving coin to all the little orphans running around uh, in uh, King's Landing there. So we're not going to do that one. I think we're going to do redouble the guard sense. I want my seduction schemes to be more likely to succeed and I want to to avoid getting murdered there, so uh, armed retainers excel at foiling those with serious ill intent, but can't stop a hidden letter slipped beneath a door nor a conversation in a shadowy corner. So we gain extra stress and courtiers and guests like us somewhat less, minus 10. Uh, if we have any glory hound vassals, they will dislike us a lot, which I don't quite understand why, uh, but I guess it's because they care about standing and prestige and showing the world the strength of the realm they're part of. You think they would like that then? We're redoubling the guards. Uh, they like partition. They like victory in war. They like hunting. They dislike high crown authority and defeat. 
or marriage to lowborns. They prefer bold and brave heirs. So, I mean, well, they should like me a lot. So, whatever. I don't care what they think. They should be fond of me. Um, based on that description. Have we got anyone new at court? That might be more useful than the people that we have now. I should probably marry. I, I do like to marry off my courtiers so they have some more kids. We can marry her to Reynold. Sophie and Reynold can marry. They're both on the council anyway. So we might as well do that. And the mayor. Yeah, we can't do anything but the mayor. This guy can marry. Oh, should he marry the giantess? He is fearful. Uh, fearful and zealous. Hmm. Oh, but she is cynical. Perhaps Beatrix then? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll just hold off on marrying him. Nothing has really changed here. We do need more knights, so perhaps right now you will find me some more knights. Oh, but he's unlikely to train our knights. He'll probably end up maiming them instead, so let's not do that. Uh, we could invite knights actually i may go ahead and do that for 150 prestige we've got a lot of that so let us send harold let us do that we've got 84 percent chance to seduce our wife uh but after like 365 days we've already got a knight who's arrived but he is craven oh my why have you sent me craven knights i don't want that uh, oh, beneath those layers, how should I pro how should I approach Princess Adele? She seems like a reserved individual who prefers silence as a companion. She is... Oh, I thought she was shy, but no, she's just bad at diplomacy there. Uh, at least that's how she appears on the surface. Who knows what sort of person she is in private? Is she meek and submissive, or perhaps passionate and fiery? I mean, maybe both? Maybe both of those things? She's both craven and lustful. Uh, I will find out once I have breached her stony exterior, for now I have to decide how to make myself remain in her thoughts after spending some time alone. Uh, be gallant and charming. I mean, yes, that is sort of... We can assume she has a romantic side and prefers an ardent lover. We can approach her tenderly as a friend. Uh, she prefers a gentle lover. I mean, probably, or we can just wait it out. I mean, I think she would prefer someone who is gentle, but I don't think that we are. So we will simply, we are arrogant. So we'll do what we think uh, our lady would like here, which is to be as gallant and charming as possible there. And I managed to get a moment alone with Princess Adele. I bide my time balancing flattery and conversation. Then, as the right mood settles, I reach out and clasp her hand in mine. Oh my, I lay bare my feelings for Adele and declare my undying love for her. Not even in my wildest dreams could I have imagined you were this passionate, Richard. She explains while desperately fanning herself. Ooh la la! Um, well, she doesn't respond to my proclamation in kind. I'm certain that the shades of red on her ears is due to her blushing ferociously at my bold words. It shouldn't be long before she reciprocates my feelings. We're at 95% chance of success there. And we're just ticking along. I'm not sure what else to do at the moment. Um, we have a fair bit of money. How much was it to get some Conroy again? Oh, we could get some. I would pretty much use all of our money up, but... We are in the plains, and we have light horsemen. I want some heavy, uh, heavy cav there. So let's go ahead and grab those. Uh, just give me one moment here. Just need to check something. Uh, nope. Never mind. It was a spam call. Uh, so <laughs> there we go. We got our Conroys are building up. Unfortunately, our marshal is just a baby-faced boy, so that's not uh, not what we would really like. Our guest is also uh, Craven, so I don't really want to put him in charge either there. Uh, let's see. I'm surprised our brothers have not uh, reached out. I mean, we do have the alliance with France, so... 
Uh, I'm not gonna war against my mother, but is there something? What am I next to? I can war against my father. Uh, I mean, he likes me a fair bit. When did I declare war on him at some point? When did that happen? Maybe I'll declare war on him again. Uh, what is this duchy? The Duchy of Barry. It's not even formed yet. Interesting. We can't go against France, so we don't want to do that. What's this duchy? Oh, this is going to be mine. Uh, and Zhu is going to be... Oh, it's not even formed yet, so... Oh, interesting. Uh... Yeah, let's just see how this goes with our wife. We should probably do something, right? We're not very we're not a guy who sits around, but I can't really go to war. Like, can I go to war against my dad? I guess I could. I could press my oh my. Um, but even with France, he dwarfs me there. He's got Eleanor. Oh, but she's uh she's part of his realm. Why is he so powerful? Why are you so powerful? Um... Yeah, it shows that he only has 19. Is it counting? Oh, King Bella of Hungary. Oh my! I mean, yeah, that'll do it. Who's, uh... Oh, is, she, is this my sister? No. How does he have that? Their marriage of Prince Joffrey and Princess Mar... Margit. Margit. Oh, the bastard. The bastard is married a princess. Oh my, but he's sick right now. I think we will have to not do anything about that. We should hold, like, a tourney. Is there anyone holding a tourney? We'd make a good tourney night. Uh, oh, there's the Teutonic Order has been founded by Pope Alexander III. And we're still at 95% chance of seducing our wife here a knight has arrived oh yes please oh this is what we want a zealous holy warrior who fights in the cold a winter soldier yes sir you giant will be uh oh and i spent all my money i spent all my money on the conroy oh i'm master of the hunt all right that's good uh, i should have enough money shortly we are at least making a good amount of money we have, uh, oh dear, we've got a Kinslayer, Prince Dyfed, Di David, Dyfed of Gwynedd. Is this, uh, someone that I'm related to somehow? Uh, so in a few days' time, you're a lecherous vassal, Lord Owen, who is a bastard founder. Uh, we'll travel through Poitiers. If you orchestrate an ambush and capture him, I will reward you generously. If you accept my offer, you will get half the money now and half when you turn him over. I mean, normally I would say he is a good man. Just zealous, stubborn, intellectual, but he is a kinslayer. I cannot abide that I am a good Christian man, and uh, that's just not something. Yeah, this is me and I am magnificent. Uh, we can warn Owen, who uh, is ambitious and lustful like me if we were to warn him uh e we still get the money and uh we'll get a hook on owen there so let's do that i have become ill no i mean uh, i got the money so that's good but i have become ill uh Oh my, I think we're just gonna say, do you know more than what is necessary? We don't have an heir! And, uh, our friend, or our buddy here, Bishop Aubrey, has made us feel a little bit better. There's our hook on Owen there. And, uh, you are a most honorable man, Lord Richard. I owe you my freedom, perhaps even my life. Who knows what that churl, Prince Dyfed, uh, would have done with me, but uh, had I ended up in his dungeon... I will return the favor, I swear it. Until then, stay safe. Oh. You're welcome, sir. And now I may recruit this giant to my court to serve as my marshal. And yes, sir, you can also marry the giantess uh, that we have in our court. I mean, she is cynical, so maybe not. Maybe we won't do that. Uh, but certainly the baby face is out. As Marshall, get out of there. 
And you will find me even more nights, please. Uh, we can also, we can also make you a, uh, esteemed knight there, can we not? Uh, ask you, Bartholomew? Uh, you will be the most expert in the plains, a pike captain. And a tactician, why are you predominantly a pike captain? There's nothing to suggest that you're good at that. Uh, let's see what else you could be. Ah, <sighs> we can make you a, fan a fanatic. Uh, a zealot, so... Our piety costs of Holy Wars significantly reduced. Joining Holy Wars provides significant piety. Oh, yes. Let's do that. You are a fanatic and a tactician. Uh, what? He doesn't serve as a knight. The Count's beast in the plains. Oh, my. Uh, why? What? Is he not in our court? Oh, there we go. We just have to wait for it to... Alright, let's change this. Fanatic. Yeah, the beast in the plains. The Count's beast in the plains. Um, I don't, I don't understand this UI very much, but uh, it looks like as he gains more glory um yeah we have to get to rank three to get the reduction in piety to do a holy war but that's fine he's still fairly young i don't know that we'll be able to replace him but you never know so there we go we got an acclaimed knight we got a lot of money now can we hold a tournament or something we did kind of just get married but we're sick right now so perhaps we will wait until we get better. Still have yet to seduce our wife. What, what is stopping her here? Budding interest. No shit. Budding interest. Uh, oh, hello, Douglas there. Uh, yeah, it's going pretty good. We're, uh, we're doing good. We're just starting off our, uh, our campaign here, uh, with Richard the Lionheart. But, uh, yeah, we got lots of opportunities that are available to us, so... Just working our way through, and I hope uh, I hope you're having a good day, a good Friday there. Uh, so, scheme successful. The servants have all been sent away, and our bed has been decorated with roses. As Princess Adele enters, she smiles lavishly and joins me without hesitation. Uh, we are uh, referring the devotion we swore before God, perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. Um... So, we, uh, yeah, she could become my lover, or it just, we, you know, we just seduced her. I mean, she is our wife, and we are gallant. She is also lustful, so let's make her our lover. That's good. She likes us quite a bit, and our knights uh, are improving right now. You're a knight? No, you should not be a knight. Let's get you out of there. Uh, oh, we have another guest, Baldwin. Oh, yes, 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 you must be, uh, recruited there. Uh, you... No, we're not gonna recruit the Craven guy. Right now, uh, you are not... Yeah, you're not a knight. Neither are you. Um, so yeah, we need, we need more. We only got two knights. <laughs> we need more knights. Um, what? How did that happen? Where? Oh. I don't know where our chancellor went. Who was our chancellor? Oh, our mayor. Did he die? We suddenly have no vassals. I'm very confused. Did he just vanish into the ether there? Uh, alright, um... Damn, we have no chancellors. I could put you in, but you're you're only, uh... <laughs> you're quite nice. You're a nice man, but you're, you're not very got good uh, diplomacy there. So... That is no good. Uh, no, we really have no one. We could try marrying this lady to get a diplomat. Oh, by the way, I should set you to manage our domain. We get a buff uh, from her stewardship, which is probably her best trait. I mean, we could do intrigue as well, which she's even better at, but I'd rather get the money. And she's pregnant with our first child, so many happy congratulations to them. Uh, we can appoint a successor to that there, and, uh, oh. We have to have prowess. 
Oh, he's a holy warrior. Oh, all right. I mean, uh, we don't really need a successor right now. This, they're about the same age. So I'll just leave it for now. If we get someone, and once he gets older, we'll have to do uh, a successor for him. Oh, he's challenging me to a fight. All right, let's go. Let's go, Henry the Young. You're not doing well health-wise, so I accept. Why am I still- Oh, I'm sick. Shit, he challenged me when I'm sick? What a prick. What a prick, what a prick. Um, so Henry and I stalk around each other. Yeah, I'm wearing my nightshirt still. I'm like, come on. <laughs> but uh, I'm not backing down from, from a fight there. So... We surround each other, weighing our options. He hefts a fearsome sword while I grip my own. Uh, oh, I'm gripping a hammer. Uh, too bad I can't wield Excalibur, but nevertheless, uh, the deadly weapon feels cool and weighty in my grasp. This fight may only be till first blood, but that doesn't ease my nerves. So, strike parry riposte uh, is a high increase to likelihood of success, but medium risk of injury. Uh, attack first, attack hard on guard is very high uh, likelihood of success and high risk of injury. Uh, whereas I can just mockingly boast him and we're unlikely to succeed, but he will gain stress. Interesting. I mean, we do only like this. The, the whole point of this is stress. We're not really trying to kill him, so let's just mock him. Uh, my words cut deep into his ego. Everyone knows of my fame, my prestige, and his reputation pales by comparison. Henry's retort is carefully calculated, waiting for precisely the right point to reply with several slashes of his sword. My form is decent with some lapses, and Henry's stance is passable. Uh, his guard is fierce, and I feel far from victory. So, we can show him... Uh, oh, better men than you have died trying to break my guard, which has a low uh, likelihood of success, but medium for him. Uh, we have... Uh, I'll show you how I raise a hammer. I strike with skill and poise. Medium uh, chance of success, low increase to injury, and medium chance of his success. Or uh, we try to tire him out, which is very unlikely to succeed. So we'll show him how we raise a hammer. Uh, my hammer flows around Henry like water, each strike chaining fluidly into the next, a series of perfectly timed attacks. Henry tries to feint left with his sword, only to strike for my heart with a concealed dagger. Oh, shit. Is he good? Oh, he's deceitful. What a little shit. He uh, has pulled a dagger out on me. Okay, so my form is good with only small errors, but Henry's stance is formidable. I have yet to open up my opponent's guard, and I see no way to claim a victory. So, again, better men than you have tried, which is unlikely to succeed. It's very likely for him to succeed thanks to that knife. Uh, we can do strike parry repulsed, which is high likelihood of success for both of us. Or this is the, be this is the best you got. No, that's unlikely to, to work. So we'll do strike parry repulsed. Oh, I leap into action, launching a flurry of rapid thumps, driving myself hard against Henry's guard, wearing him down with each expertly timed strike. Henry encounters with a fierce hail of quick slashes, almost running me through repeatedly. My form is good, with only small errors, but his stance is formidable. I have yet to open up his guard. Uh, we could, again, we try to provoke him into making a mistake, very unlikely to succeed. Uh, we could try to disarm him, unlikely to succeed, or we can mock him again. Uh, but he's very unlikely, or sorry, he's very likely to succeed doing that, so I don't know what else to do. We'll just do this. Unfortunately, we've been beaten. I mean, he tricked us. A, he, tried, he fought us while we were sick, and B, he pulled a knife on us in addition to um, a sword. So he has no honor. He is a coward who has no honor. And, uh, we hate his guts. Unfortunately, oh dear, he has had a son who died. Is that, uh, recent? 1770, what? 1177, yeah, that was just, uh, just recently there. Is, is it, uh, coded that all of his kids will die so that I inherit? I don't know if he's, if he's gonna, like, live or what. 
Uh, he's married to another princess of France. Sister of uh, my wife there. Alright, so uh, my bow's fall on deaf ears, my opponent ignoring my teasingly. Henry brings a quick slash at me with his sword, then expertly uh, shifts momentum to the dagger in his offhand, blindsiding me entirely. I try to switch to an appropriate parry, but it's too late, and the dagger's pommel catches me hard against the cheek. Uh, my grip on the weapon slacks, and I feel it clatter out of my hand, vision swimming from the blow. You'll rue the day that you were ever defeated Prince Richard. So I lost, I lost some stress, uh, but I became wounded. I thought I would gain stress because he won, but nevertheless, I am wounded. This is not good. I can't die before my child has been born here. Uh, yeah, I lost. I gained 75 and, I, and he lost 58. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, we have a sadistic drunkard who uh, is another holy warrior that wants to join me. Uh, how do I feel about this? I mean, yeah, he's sadistic, so it's considered a sin. I get this dragon out of my castle. I will not, uh, I will not, uh, hire people that uh, would not be fit in a church there. Uh, oh, Joffrey uh, is all suited up in armor. Interesting. How's our dad doing? He's still doing well. Uh, an unworthy challenge. At first, I thought the footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. However, the battle proved more hard fought than I expected. I mean, I'm wounded and sick. Uh, it gradually became clear that he would be unable to stop- I would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes. Uh, disarming him suddenly became a matter of life and death. I tried not to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. Oh my, he is brave, uh, wrathful. Like, his stats aren't that good, but he has good prowess. Uh, I can strike him down where he stands and I gain 24 dread. Or he could join me in battle. I mean, he is brave, as am I. Uh, he does like me fairly a lot, and we do need knights. So we could give him a lecture on honor, which would give us... Oh, that would give us prestige and piety. So let's do that. We've, already, we've been dishonored by our brother, so let's give him a lecture. I probably should have recruited him, and I accidentally touched the mic there. Sorry, but I probably... Uh, should have uh, recruited him there. Oh well. All right. Oh, we're better. We have gotten better. Our prowess has uh, remained unchanged, however. Uh, Baldwin has improved as a knight. That's fine. Do we have any proper uh, proper chancellors at, at our court? Not really. We can try to marry her off. Uh, anyone want to come over here? Oh, brave and ambitious Lanfranco. Oh, yes, please. You should get over here right now. Uh, we also have this guy. He's, is he Dutch? Yes. Uh, Italian. Yeah, let's marry them. It has to be matrilineal. Don't forget to do that. Uh, yeah, she's brave and sadistic, so he's brave and ambitious. Whatever. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna do much for his ambitions there, but, uh, yeah, they're gonna be married, and we'll have a proper, uh, proper chancellor in there. Why is he so portly? He's obese. He's not gluttonous, but I suppose it's all that good Italian food that he's been eating there, so let's do that. So we got another knight and a chancellor out of that, so I like that. And... What should we do now? Let's wait for our child to be born. I think that's the only thing we can do. Oh, yes! Henry! Henry the third, I guess? Yeah, Henry Plantagenet? Look at that! A red-haired lad like me! Um, you grow strong and wise. Eleanor, or sorry, Adele. Not Eleanor, that's my mom. We didn't have a kid with my mom, uh... Adele, you've been so brave and so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you and our perfect little son. He shall be a warrior someday. Um, 
Oh, we can declare war, so let's take a look at that. Mm, not really against any of these people, because they all have more men than I, although I do have my alliance. So, why... Laudably conquer county. What's this? Is this... How do we, uh... Oh, it's an Irish... It's, uh, like, England can conquer Irish counties from this laudable thing, right? Is that what I'm understanding? Because this is all Irish territory. Holy shit, I didn't realize we had land up here. The a whole, uh, southern piece? Wow. Wow, okay, uh, I don't think we'll be doing that. We can assist our dad when he goes to war, but... Um... Let's see, we're gonna serve the crown control growth and natural dread. Oh, let's actually get stalwart leader. Extra prowess, uh, experience on foot, reduce the risk of commanding armies and challenge our rivals. We already have that as part of our culture, but we need more prowess. We need to get stronger because this little chump cannot, uh, cannot pull a dagger on me again. I will not allow it. Ah, <sighs> okay, so we can... we still have a lot of money, so let's see what we can do with that. Uh, is there anything else? I can get one more, one more batch of, uh, men-at-arms, so maybe some trebuchet. Maybe we should do that. Because we are eventually going to be, uh, going to war and attacking, uh, and, um... Uh, Sieging, sieging down whoever we attack here, so... We did that, we could buff our Conroy here. Oh my, that's a lot of money to buff them, but... Nevertheless, now we have uh, a bit more troops there, so we're building an army. Oh, cradled by sickness! <gasps> no! Henry is sickly! All babies cry, but with little Henry there's no end to the tears. Your son is not gaining any weight. We'll take good care of him, but in the end... He, his life is in God's hands. Oh, no. Baby Henry, we must pray. Should I go on a pilgrimage? Is there any place I can go? Um, I just spent all my money, but it will be a pious one for sure. Uh, is there no... I thought there was a Catholic holy site in the UK. Am I just... Why is there none? Why is there nothing showing up? What? Um, yeah, I should be able to go to Canterbury. Right. Pious pilgrimage. Uh, what the hell? I think we might be glitching out. We can't go what? Oh, uh, we can't go because we're the Diarch. We can't go because we are... We are... What? Is our mom not kicked us out? Or, whoops. Is our mom still have us as regents? Uh, what the hell? Uh... Can we step down? I mean, we do love our mom, but I want to go on a pilgrimage on behalf of my son. Um... Yeah, it's not an entrenched regency. What is happening? I've never seen that before. I wish to step down. Oh, now she will... Oh! Oh, we can make an alliance with her. Yes. I'm not the Diarch. My brother is the co-monarch. I don't know why we can't, uh, we can't go on a pilgrimage. That's so weird. Uh, cha -cha -cha. let's try this again. Mm hmm. You are the official Diarch and expected to remain within the realm. Oh my. That is odd. We're not currently serving as her regent. Like, when she got out of prison, I think she cancelled that or something. I don't know. We have to wait. We have to pray for our son. How's she doing? She's still in good health. 
So that's fine. We could become an adventurer. No. Um. Yeah. I'm mostly just waiting to get my titles. I mean, we're not really... We're not impatient or necessarily patient. Uh... Because there's a lot coming to us, and then we can fight our brother. Until now, we'll be a good son, I guess. I don't know what I can... Like, I can't war with France. I'm not going to go to war against my mother. I could fight my father for Anjou, which I'm wondering... Like, how come it says the duchy is not... Yeah, that's going to my... To my... Brother. So we'll fight my brother. Um... It's self-evident to all in the Duchy of Aquitaine that my mother... Oh, is she become... No, she's not infirm. Is she going somewhere? Uh, my mother cannot shoulder the burden of rule by herself, nor not without causing irreparable harm to our lands. Uh, though the duty is not expected to last long, someone must mind the realm, arbitrating disputes and keeping the throne warm for Queen Eleanor as regent naturally that someone is me so I guess that's why I couldn't go on a pilgrimage where is she going? towards Middlesex is she going on a pilgrimage? oh she is I think I want to come mother bring me with you pray for my son uh so I can swing the scales uh or I can just say, ah, oh, recognition, I lose stress and gain prestige. I gain access to borrowed powers that could be used against my legion fellow vassals. And I can swing the scales of power. I'm not going to... I'm not going to act against my mom, because... I don't know, I love her, I guess. So uh, let's do recognition. But I'm curious to see what we can do like what is her who are her vassals um what kind of powers do I have let's see uh all, yeah, all I can do is embezzle gold so I can swing the scales if I didn't like her I would do that but I like her a lot so I don't think <clears throat> that I will be doing that uh, I wish she would take me with her, though. I want to go on a pilgrimage, but I guess I gotta stay here. Oh, she revoked me as Master of the Hunt. Oh, mother! No, she's been maimed! Oh, God! Wait, who's holding a tournament? He's hosting a tournament? Invite me, your son! Oh, I can't go because I'm her, uh... <gasps> mother, who maimed you? No, mother, what happened? Oh, no, 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 not that, not that, not that. Not that. What happened, mother? I heroically saved Rorgan from a raging bull in the hills of Parthenny. <gasps> mother, why did you do this? He was your knight. He's meant to protect you. I know you're brave, but... Oh, no, mother. I, I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, per my mandate from Queen Eleanor, my primary duty as regent is to fill her coffers. An easy way to do this is to populate the outskirts of Belak, moving serfs and smallholders from my own county to Eleanor's lands. Uh, except the peasantry refused to budge. Every family forcibly moved is like pulling a tooth like they object to being shifted by their betters. <laughs> I mean, there are people there, uh, Richard. I think he would love uh, the concept of uh, human capital or human resources there in a corporation but uh, there are people. Mind you, we are ruling caste. Uh, we, we are used to lording over subjects and uh we know how to effectively suppress revolts so yeah we're not we're not somewhat we're definitely someone that t treats uh peasants as people that we can control uh, uh i could say uh offer them endorsements so i could bribe them to leave i could uh the wealthy families could serve in another way what? Oh, I can, what, raise money from the wealthier uh, vassals? Or I can let them stay on their plots if they love dirt so much. A mother loses opinion of me. 
Yeah, I think we'll do that. We're just grumpy. I want to go to the tournament. I want to fight in the tournament. Father! Um... I gotta wait for mom to get back. If she makes it, oh, maybe the, uh, maybe the, uh, priest and nurses in, uh, where's she going again? Um, Canterbury, that's it. <laughs> Canterbury can help her. Oh, my wife Adele is once again absent from our chamber. She's been distant lately. Am I not to her satisfaction? Is she busy? Uh, do you have another, Adele? How can you ever say such a thing, Richard? I would never take a lover. Alright, well, I wanted to ask her at least, but uh, she isn't lustful, and uh, we are lovers, so... Presumably, she is just tired because she's pregnant. I guess she's insulted by my questioning. Uh, oh, I want to go to the tournament so bad. <gasps> no, mother! Mother! She died. Oh, Eleanor! She was brave until the end. She she saved her, tried to save her own knight from a bull. Oh no. Um. Well, I have become deeply stressed from the death of my mother. My wife is of course pregnant. I may have to visit the brothel and become rackish. I could convert to Paulicianism. But I doubt that will help. So I uh, am drowning my sorrows in uh, fleshy bits, I guess. Oh, I can I can go to the tournament now, though. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Just in time. Uh, I have inherited. Oh, and I inherited a bunch of land now, right? The Duchy of Gascon and the County of Bordeaux. How interesting. Oh yeah, so I got more vassals here. So all, the, all this is now mine. I mean, most of these are vassals of mine. Uh, wow. So, she is not very good. She's middling. She's a fearful, uh, spy master person. That's my bishop. Uh, Count Armenio of Albret is a fairly decent steward. He's very unhappy with me because... He wants to be on the council. He's also a young lad of 16. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, and there's the mayor. Oh, he's new. What happened to... Yeah, I swear I lost one of my mares. I don't know where, where they went, but, um... Yeah, he's a craven and vicious knight, so I don't think we'll be doing much with him either. We could sub in... This lad, uh, who's got good stewardship, but we, our current steward has excellent stewardship, so I don't think we will swap him out. Uh, we have pretty, everyone's pretty set, uh, except for Sophie, who is fairly middling, but if we put Countess Beatrice in, is it about the same? Average and average? I guess we might as well. She will be happy with us if we do this. Uh, she has Craven, which actually boosts her intrigue and uh, reduces enemy hostile schemes. So she's actually probably a good uh, character to be our spy master there. There we go. So all we really are lacking is, yeah, we can't put our bishop. Oh, what? Oh, the bishop. Oh, can we make him our, our, uh, Chancellor? Oh, we can. He's got even better. Well, he's about the same. They're both excellent. So I feel bad. I'm sorry, uh, Len Franco. Your services have been very good. You're still a good knight. He actually really doesn't like me either because we're culturally very different. So let's put the good bishop in there. And he's happier with me. Uh, yeah, so other than that, it's really just, we really could just give uh, our menu um, a job as steward, but we'll, he's only 16, so we'll let him stew there for a bit, and Reyno can collect for now. Um, yeah, so our army should be swelling, our coffers certainly are swelling, and we really should have a funeral for our mother, shouldn't we? But I really want to go to the tournament, so I think we will 
we'll, we'll go to the tournament and, uh, you know, drown our sorrows in the fighting. Uh, there's a recital. Wait, oh, there's a recital, a uh, board game, archery, a wrestling, and a ceremony. So we can at least do the martial, um, the martial uh, games, I guess. Let's go ahead and do that. I know we're kind of uh, skirting our responsibilities there, but we are grieving. Our mother has just died, so we are just uh, perhaps running away from our responsibilities. We're actually putting Lan Franco as our caravan master, since he is a noted uh, traveler there. So on we go, men. Uh, let's do it. We hired a mountaineer with a funny hat. Oh, he's a... Uh, he is Jewish there, I think that is that does that explain the hat? I'm not too sure, but I'm guessing that's why. And so oh, we've left our pregnant wife as our uh, as as our um uh what's it called? Our re our region, yes, of course, if I could speak there. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this, we're all decked out. It's freaking awesome. Yeah, too bad we can't actually wield Excalibur, but I love it. I love how we're all uh, decked out in our finery, our knight finery there, our helmet and uh, our helm, I guess I should say. That's very cool. Um, yeah, we're going to the tournament. We're not too happy about it because uh, of our mother's death, but we can just assume that we were always going to go as soon as she got back, and now we're still going. So, while traveling through Loudon, we run into some French knights. They are deeply respectful and huge lovers of poetry as they insist on reciting it every chance they get. The code of conduct they follow has several merits, but I can't help but admire it. One of the knights, folks, is particularly impressive. Uh, well, we already have, like, we already have, uh, Oh, don't we have this already, shall we? Uh, I'm very confused. Uh, Chanson de Guest. I guess is that different than Chivalry? Uh, it seems very similar. I guess this is more about poetry rather than, uh, the actual Chivalry. I thought it was the same thing. So, we can reduce the cost of establishing Chivalry. Uh, which really we would just replace it or we can become personally chivalrous which will give us extra diplomacy and prowess I mean we're about to fight in a tournament so I think I will go ahead and grab the extra or extra um prowess there uh, I can't wait for it to start uh, oh we're doing the recital we qualified for the recital I guess because we are a poet that makes sense uh, let's stop in the village, I guess? And we stroll through the tournament outskirts. We're overcome by the sheer beauty that surrounds me in Salmer. I trod along plains scattered with patches of irises, deciding to stop uh, to touch the bark of a pristine poplar tree. I look up to see a group of pigeons flying above me. I wish I had the opportunity to return in the future. It's very relaxing. Well, that's good, because we need to reduce stress, so we are just spending some time in nature there. Um, Enrico, yeah, people are gaining, uh, gaining different uh, metrics there, and let's head to the turning grounds. We're about to start. Uh, my nightstand assembled in... Stand assemble for the day's training. Their attendants, laden with Kit, Bartholomew, and myself, stand before all knights. What you do not know, as humbly to be taught, urges Bartholomew. Together we represent the Duke. Let us prepare for our glories. He turns to me, eyes gleaming. Command us. Uh, watch your opponents learn their weaknesses, because we want to triumph, and... Uh, all of my knight's scores increase moderately as well as my own. We're ambitious. Uh, we could tell him to draw his their swords, which gives us a uh, benefit on horseback and foot. We could tell them prove your keenness of eyes and mind. And our scores increase slightly. We get it. We gain the trait has to looter. Um. 
so we're basically turning knights, or we could tell Bartholomew to best them all. And his prowess increases by one, he may gain an impressive nickname. So it seems like this one is the one we want since we're ambitious and we want to triumph. Uh, it will gain our knights and ourselves a moderate increase, so we're gonna do that one. I hope it sticks for the duration of the tourney as well. Uh, Alright, we're ready to recite our poetry. It's time to show the world my skill. I let out a triumphant sigh as I complete the final verse of my recital. I ready myself for the thundering applause of my audience, only to find the turning ground silent, save for the wind whistling. This is a disaster, but perhaps the situation can be rectified with a new poem composed and recited on the fly. Uh, I have one more. Okay, we have 85% chance to succeed. And Dagmar flashes an arrogant smirk on my, w to on my way as she ascends the dais, and it doesn't take long for me to find out why. The very first line is a grave insult to me. Oh, who is this girl of the Dokum Warriors? She's Danish. Uh, what's she doing all the way over here insulting me? I mean, she is a poet. Is this a, f a flighting, like in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where they we can uh, insult each other there? Uh, so the sound of the cheering crowd fills my ears. I have no choice but to retaliate with my own poem against her honor. My opening verse is the paramount is of paramount importance. It is true, Dagmar rhymes like no other. However, oh, okay, um. I see. So we can say we lay with her mother. That's our intrigue option. She's a rakish lover. Diplomacy and intrigue. Uh, her mind can be a duller, which is learning, which she's better at than me. Or her face couldn't be rougher, which is diplomacy. And we're more likely to succeed there. So let's say her face is rough and my verse wins the, pr wins the crowd. Yeah, unfortunately... She is, uh, gluttonous there. It's not letting me click her, but, uh, maybe, maybe that, uh, is, uh, causing the crowd to jeer there. Uh, so night begins to fall on the scene, but torches light the competition as it continues. Wow, we're going all day here. So I talk to myself under my breath, writing my lips for the next round as I rem reminisce about the happening so far, like when I step forward to take my turn. Uh, ascending the steps to the dais, it's time for the final verse. Okay, so we can talk about making coin and the good life, which is stewardship. We can regale them with uh, tales of war and victory, which is our marshal. Uh, we can appeal to a higher power, which is learning, or keep it safe and simple. So, I think we have to do this one. We got about 50% chance of success and like 20% chance nothing happens. Everything else is fairly middling or flipped. So there we go. I finished my final verse, but the crowd haven't waited for the ending. The cheers drown on my words. Flowers landing on the stage as I make my way off. I'm winning. Victory is so close. There's precious few competitors left. And even less time. It all comes down to this one last verse. Oh, I, my score decreases gr decreases greatly. That's no good. Uh, oh shit, I won! I completed my triumph intent. Wow, trumpet sound. The crowd clamors. Competitors begin to assemble. The contest is over and someone's moment in the sun is being readied. A herald steps forward, voice booming out across the scene. After many trials, tribulations, and above else, spirited competition, we have our final three. In third place, the gutsy Mistress Dagmar. Coming in a close second, Count Guillaume. Oh, that's m oh, I thought that was my vassal. Oh, that was Mother's vassal. Now my brother's vassal, I see. And that, of course, leaves us with our victor, Prince Richard. Oh, yeah, that's me. I knew I could win. I proved my worthiness beyond doubt. I won. I actually won. So, I got 750 prestige, 75 gold, Yambic Virtuoso, uh, some plus three diplomacy, learn language phase, uh, so I'm, it's faster for me to learn languages, and has to looter experience gain of 10%. I received a, I'm gonna receive a prize, 
And I got 50 renown for my dynasty. Wow, okay, so I did it. I won. I won. I'm a poet. Mother, if only mother could see me now. Truly glorious. All right, let's hit up the tavern. We're going to play a board game. Um, um, wow. The local pub is rammed with bodies, and the turn uh, as expected when a tournament rolls in into town among the newcomers, there sits a man who clearly is a fixture at the establishment. He eyes me with suspicion as I sit down. What are you doing here? He finally blurts out. I turn to face him, and he rises unsteadily to his feet. Forgive my presumptions, my lord. A flourishing, scornful bow punctuates the statement. But I reckon you can handle half of that, let alone all of it. Oh wow, we can uh, try to drink him under the table and lose stress. Or we can tell him to sit down and shut up, you hopeless drunk. Oh, we become a highbrow. I mean, yes, we refuse to spend time with those beneath our stature. I mean, we are arrogant and, and uh, ambitious. And we are, we believe ourselves to be part of the ruling case, so sit down and be quiet. Do not speak that way to your betters. Uh, let's check out the artisans. A fine favor as I prepare for my upcoming match. I spot Mistress Claremont of the Gilder Ladies. Uh, hailing me by waving a handkerchief, offering me her favor. Before I can respond, Adelada appears holding a handkerchief out instead for me, uh, and uh, insisting I take her favor. Inst oh, bleh, I can't. Uh, I'm starting to falter here. Sorry. Uh, before I can respond, she holds her handkerchief out, insisting I take her favor instead. So we got this lady who uh, is an attractive. Uh, Marauder, uh, she's part of a, uh, band of adventurers, Mistress Claremont. Or we've got Adelada, who is a lustful, uh, a lustful, uh, elusive shadow. She is someone in a count's court. I think we'll go for Mistress Claremont. Um, we have the favor of a lady. She starts a romance scheme against me. Ooh, um... And, oh, I gained 150 prestige, and my chance of winning increases. Oh my, a lady. Uh, okay, so, what do we think? We're not lustful, and we, we are lovers with our wife, so I don't know, but we've become rackish because of our stress. So maybe, uh, maybe we, uh, maybe we let this happen. She is sort of a... Uh, she has gallows bait. Maybe she's a trickster. She's athletic and comely, and I feel like we are too. So maybe, uh, maybe we're into that. She's begun to sing, and I recognize the tune. It's a famous Norman love ballad. Okay, so she knows the way to my heart. You flatter me, my lady. And, oh, oh yeah, we had a daughter. Ida, our daughter, has been born at home. Uh, while we've been away, our poor wife, uh, Adele, had to uh, deal with childbirth alone this time. Poor Henry is still uh, ailing, so Ida could be our new heir if, uh, if her brother remains sickly. But as for now, we're busy at this tournament. We're doing a board game now. We already won uh, the poetry competition. So, we're taking our place at the gaming table. My first bout, I've been paired against Master Robert of Robert's Pathfinders. Interesting. Uh, quite a good steward. Uh, quite, uh, you know, even stats there. Good stewardship, learning, and diplomacy. But I am ready. So, I could cheat and try to... I'm not sure how I'm supposed to sabotage a board game, but I am, you know, a noble. A nobleman. I may uh, seduce people, but I don't cheat. I will win outright. I am ambitious, so this is no way to win. Oh, but uh, before the contest, someone has been caught right in the act of sabotage. King, he King Henry has disqualified them from the contest. Wow. So, Count Gus of Leon has been disqualified for trying to sabotage the board game. 
Oh my goodness. And so, uh, the, this guy, our, uh, opponent, has flipped the table with a mighty thwack. His mood has turned sour when he realized a mistake he made several, uh, turns ago. You win, Prince Richard. Are you happy? So, I can tell him to pick up the pieces that he threw because I need to knock him out of this contest. I can also say you could have just conceded, but I'm kind of, uh, you know, I like rubbing it into people's faces, so... Pick up the pieces. I wish to win. Uh, so Dagmar has, uh, defeated Arno because he made one of the classic blunders there. We had this, uh, the other day in our Cassandra stream there, so lucky. Lucky hag. Um... I, so, the, so I defeated my person, Dagmar defeated hers, uh, there, yeah, there's four people left, and it's the semifinals, my next bout will be against Count Gaston, <laughs> Count Gaston, does he eat a half dozen eggs, uh, regularly, I wonder, um, let's do it, uh, Oh, Henry here has defeated Dagmar. All right, so she's out. We already defeated her in the poetry, but uh, she's out. Is she my rival or something? I seem to be getting a lot of events about her. Uh, what happened? Did I not? Uh, uh what happened? Did I not get? Oh, I will face. What? Who? Uh, I never got to fight. I skipped my round. Okay, I don't know. I never got to, uh, never got to give it a go. That's too bad. Uh, oh dear. Bartholomew and Bartholomew. This is my knight. He's, uh, he's in my way. So, excuse me. Could you please move? He refuses. What? This is so weird. I never got to go. I lost the board game, but I never even got to. I never even got to try it out. All right, well, this guy won, I guess. Guillaume, no, Guillaume, oh, Guillaume, former vassal of my mother. Somebody forfeited. I never forfeit, so I don't know what happened. I did not, uh, I did not get to uh, even try this, but nevertheless, there's always next time there. Maybe they didn't want me to win again. All right, archery. We're definitely gonna hit up the tent and a bow crossed. Knights mimic the acts of war and friendly rivals swagger while interpreters laugh through their work. You Normans have your skills. Concedes Badwin of Gin, Guinness. Uh, but have you ever seen one of these? Could you load one and take aim? The count passes me a weapon I have never seen. It is a strong bow placed sideways at the end of an arrow bearing a channel. The French use it to pierce armor. Any armor. Oh my, I'll have a try. I notably represent the Normans and I become an open-minded warrior. Which gives me better counter efficiency. Okay, uh, we Normans need no contraptions. Uh, wow, like cowards, the French snuff out the noblest warriors from afar, but we never and nor shall we ever. So we gain loyal to martial traditions, which reduces the cost of Norman mercs and holy orders and increases our cultural, increases opinion, cultural opinion of me. I think that we have to do that. We're not a coward. We're not piercing armor from far away. Although we are about to, to go in an archery competition, we are going to win uh, fairly there as a noble warrior. So, okay, we've got a dynasty perk. Looks like our dad probably picked that up. And I march into the tourney grounds. I join a group of contestants practicing their showmanship with measured enthusiasm. A few spectators already look down at us, uh, chewing roasted meat and spitting bones. The churls call for a spectacle. Some of us gripe at this distraction from training others insist that this has become a moment for proving. I can show them all how it's done. Or I can say, what are you looking at? Interesting. I do better if I say, what are you looking at? I gain dread. 
or the crowd laughs, um, or my score increases moderately by showing them how it's done. My training was successful. Alright, so we should do good at this archery contest. I hope it actually, uh... Oh, what? We're close to cl uh, qualifying. No, we were on track to. Um, wow. Okay, so... This is not good. I, I might not qualify. I don't know why. Uh, I was doing so good, but uh, I find myself alone with Mr. Claremont. Uh, this is the second favor I've been offered. I'll wear it proudly. Oh, it increases my chance of winning. But not qualifying, it seems. Oh, I qualified. Thank God. I was like, what? How can I not qualify? Uh, it's time to show the world my skill. And I flex the bowstring a few times, limbering up, and I take a deep breath. Mustering all my control, I draw the bow into the air, slowly lowering it in line with the target. As soon as the arrow leaves my fingertips, I feel the shot is a good one. Moments later, a satisfying ping confirms that I have hit the target's nail right on the head. Oh, yes. My score increases moderately. And, uh, the banners flutter and roll, roll around as I step up to take my shot. Banner by the wind, dust swirls past me as I knock an arrow to the bow, the sour wind making my eyes water. I wait for it to subside. I continue waiting. I don't think this wind is going to stop. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, so I can say that's not actually my turn yet. And I'll, it's going to be a 100% chance to succeed because I am ambitious. And of course, I am the king's son. I can also shoot across the wind, which I also have a 100% chance to succeed if I do that. So, wow, prowess versus diplomacy either way. Um, I guess I'll just shoot across the wind. I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to gain stress because it's a 100% chance that I succeed. Might as well. I hit the target. And Dusk begins to draw in slowly but steadily as the competition continues. Another full day of competition. Uh, snapping of strings is a staccato rhythm. I lean my bow. I lean on my bow, considering the path this contest has taken so far, such as when the wind began to blow strongly, forcing me to improvise. The competition begins to draw to a close. And arrows continue to fly past the butts. If I am to make any impact, I must act now. So I'm one with my bow, prowess and martial. I think that's got to be the way to go. Prowess and intrigue, no. Prowess and learning, we have 50% chance. Or just prowess alone. I think I'm one with my bow. We gotta do it. And I step forward, knock, aim, draw, and loose. The arrow whistles through the air. Thudding deep into the target, the crowd erupts. There can be no arguments. It's a huge point in my favor. I am winning, and victory is so close. Only a few more arrows are remaining for each competitor. The end is at hand. One last nook, or one last knock. And did we win? Oh yeah, we won two contests. Look at that, look at that. I won again. I am a poet. I am an archer. Is there anything that I, Richard, cannot do? Trumpet sound and the crowd clamors. Competitors begin to assemble. The contest is over. Uh, why are they assembling? They should be leaving. Uh, someone's moment in the sun is being realized. The herald booms across the scene. After many trials, tribulations, and spirited competition, we have our final three in third place. Count Gaston. Oh, not bad, young man. Coming in close second, Master Robert. All right, we've also met him as well, but uh, that leaves us with the victor, Prince Richard. I knew I could win, and I've proven my worthiness beyond doubt. So that's another 750 prestige, another 75 gold, and we've gained Merry Aim for five years. We'll receive a prize uh, when the, the tournament concludes. We're uh, two out of three there, buddy. I mean, we only lost the uh, we only lost the board game because it didn't even let us uh, didn't even let us try. But I don't know. Oh shit! My dad died. My dad was murdered. 
Ah, oh, my nemesis is now the king. Did I inherit land? I inherited... Whoa, I got a lot of claims in land. Holy shit, can I, like, exit out of the tournament now? I guess I gotta collect my prize. Shit. Alright, let's go to the temple. We've heard the news of our father's death. Our father and mother uh, have all died so quickly. One after the other here. Uh, so I'm standing in this church. And I hear a rustle amongst the leaves and the silhouette of an animal. The carvings are almost gone in some of the tombstones. I take a step towards them and they feel so distant, almost impossible. To dust I shall return. I lose. Oh, I gain stress. I can try to find an ancestor in there. Uh, am I stressed right now? I'm not able to pull up my character at the moment. I, I guess I'll do return to dust. Wow, this is crazy. This is so crazy. We're gonna have a jam-packed episode uh, tomorrow there. What should I do next? I guess I should head to the tourney grounds, maybe. Um... Oh, these two ladies are racing their hawks. It's excellent entertainment. Yeah, let's lose some of that stress that we gained there. And we're about to wrestle. We qualified for the wrestling. Alright, last... last, uh contest before we have to go and stick it to our brother there so a raid around the sand shirtless co contestants warm up for their bout as the herald announced the contest commencement some competitors rub dirt onto themselves and others opt for oils looking for any advantage the qualifi qualifiers have come to an end and it's clear who will be put forward for the quarter finals uh, my first bout, I've been um, assigned to um, fight against Count Henri of Bar. Very middling stats, so I should be able to do it here. Uh, a feral shoulder bash from Henri thuds into my ribcage, and I'm brought to the floor, but he doesn't allow me... He doesn't follow me into a pin. It's with good reason, too, as my fist flashes through the air where his head would have been. The feeling out stages of this bout are very clearly over. The two of us circle cautiously, Henri with a shadow of a sly grin. It is the calm before the storm, and a wily wrestler uses these moments to strategize. So, he is not very good at martial, so I think we will succeed by doing that. We can focus on headlocks. Uh, which is somewhat middling. We can work on body grapples, which is... Looks like a better shot, about 30 to 40% chance of a moderate or slight increase. Or we can just get him on the ground, which has 86% chance of working reasonably well. So I think that's what we'll do, we'll just get him on the ground. And it did work reasonably well. Uh, the crowd is banging for blood as I stagger forward to confront my opponent again. I cuff away a red rivulet from my forehead and consider the fight so far, musing about when I analyze my opponent. Uh, the bout is so close, one mistake, and either of us could end it in an instant. So the liver looks vulnerable. I think it's gotta be prowess and martial. Uh, that looks to be our best bet. His martial is also bad. But, oh, we've been defeated. It could be that because we are uh, grieving there from the death of our father, where our head uh, is not in the game, it would seem. So, yeah, ragged breathing from both of us fills the air as we scramble to take each other down. Finally, one hooked foot around another proves pivotal, and we topple to the ground. Stunned for an instant, we recover to realize we are both on our sides and start straining to gain an advantage. Moments later, Henri catches me off guard. As I try to regain my composure, he knocks me to the ground, pinning me in a vice-like grip. I struggle in vain to break free. The judges call an end, and I have lost. Confounded. Alright, we're out of the wrestling tournament, but we did win two other, uh, we did win two other, uh, two other games, so I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, looks like Henri has been knocked out by Count Gaston, who's grown a beard now uh, in between competitions there. And this guy has knocked out his uh, competitor. He is Hale. 
so that makes sense. You'd make a good wrestler. And finally, we have the final bout, I guess. We'll see who wins. And it was... Wait, how did he uh, How did he win? I thought he was knocked out. Oh, sorry, this is Thomas. I thought that was our competitor. Yes, Thomas the Hale has defeated Count Gaston, a lowborn succeeding as the best wrestler there. That's truly uh, rare. So, ragged breathing. Oh, yeah. I don't know why this is acting like... Uh, this is acting like I was competing. I was not. Uh, the bout between Thomas and Cap Gaston has been decided. In the end, Thomas threw Gaston from the ring. My god. Uh, this means Thomas has won. Yeah, no shit. Uh, a fine contest there. So, we didn't win at wrestling, but... I mean, look at Thomas go. 60 gold. He can uh, start an adventuring, uh, con uh, adventuring company there and uh, go far with that. But uh, we have done exceptionally well here. The tournament has concluded. We won the prize bow. And uh, probably the uh, poetry as well. So uh, our brother, our rival, our nemesis actually has to present it to us. And he's also injured, so he's not doing so well, but he does have a living son, Prince Ranulf of England, who is quick. So that's interesting. I wondered if he would be scripted to die, but it doesn't appear that he did. He's still alive and able to have children there and did succeed our father, who was murdered, though. We need to find out who, uh, who did the murdering. We will not rest or not allow that to, uh go unpunished there so the sun is coming up on the final day of the tournament and the crowds are dispersing i find myself ruminating over the results i had the finest aim of any in the archery and my master in verse saw me the worthy winner in the recital uh thomas was the indomitable opponent in the wrestling and count guillaume count guillaume's sharp mind outthought all the board game players there i fulfilled my goal of winning a contest and look forward to the next one so I got a prize bow and a prize scepter, oh yeah, and uh, I got 26 experience in bow, 11 on foot, and 38 in wit. I gained f 50 more legitimacy, and well, unfortunately, Henry, the young king here, got 1500 prestige, even though it was our father's tournament. So uh, that's too bad that he benefited from that, but we'll have to uh, stick it to him soon enough here. So, there we go. That's the end of the tournament. There I am on the uh, winner's circle there. And, wow, I haven't uh, I haven't uh, seen the map in a long time. That was a long tournament there. Oh, am I the... Who, uh, am I the, um... Yes, I am the regent of my brother. Oh, I am the regent of... My nemesis here, so let's... Wow, look at all these artifact claims. <gasps> the banner... Uh, the banners, the sandal of Jesus, the Cortana, the head of Edmund there, the healing water, the ancient plaque, and... Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Uh, what lead is converting? Uh, my... Is that one of mine? Adam. No. Is this... Uh... Oh, this is my bishop. What's going on in here? Cath Catharism? Oh, we are not going to stand for that. I have been away, and now I'm coming back, and you guys can't be getting up to that nonsense. Mind you, I mean, let's be real. I'm Richard the Lionheart. My whole thing is skirting my duty by going off to tournaments, crusades. I'll pretty much do anything I can to... Uh, do, do the thing, do anything to get out of actually ruling. I'm sure Bobby B from Game of Thrones can, uh, can relate there. So we made it home. Our Regency has ended. We have to take stock of everything that has happened. Our mother and father's death. Uh, and now our brother's and nemesis's ascension, uh, to, to the Kingdom of England there. We... 16,000 men and no allies. Could we actually fight him here? Da da da. Uh, oh my. Yes, we could. Yes, we could. If we called in France, we could press our claim. And we've also got to equip our glorious 
Oh, our favor of a lady, our prize scepter. Oh, this is not a uh, regalia. How is it not a regalia? All right, fine. Uh, we got two favors from this lady there. Our fertility and attraction has been increased there. We have our prize scepter from winning the poetry contest, which gives us opinion and grandeur boost. And of course, our prize bow as the best archer in the land. So we... I have a lot that we can do right now. We need to look to war. Absolutely looking to war. Uh, no, we're not going to become an adventurer. I believe that with all this money that we've saved up, and with France... Oh, France is at war, though. Um, are they just assisting? Yeah, they're just... It's a... A regional war in Wales that they are assisting with, so I'm sure they can join me as well. Uh, but I will definitely need their help. I only have 4,000 men right now. He has no alliances and is dying. So, I mean, we could also do the intrigue version since we are his regent. We could, um, tip the scales, I think, because we're the regent. But I don't think we're really, we're not really a, we're not really a diplomacy intrigue kind of character. We're very much all about taking him head on here so uh what can we do Ch oh we can challenge him for our art for an artifact but i'd rather just uh declare war on him right my claims i get everything wow 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 how can i claim everything is it because we're already in 1178 norman culture has already got um is it divine right? Uh, one of these... Oh, it's heraldry? It's the one that lets you press all your claims at once. I don't remember what it's called. Royal prerogative? No. Uh... I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. It's one of these, uh... Hereditary rule? No. Uh, one of these lets you press all of your claims. So we've obviously... Already got that. You can press multiple claims. Yeah, we have that. Yeah, we don't have divine right. So how are we able to press multiple claims for another character? Oh, and since this is myself, I can press them all at once. Is that it? Hmm. Interesting. Don't understand it, but I think this is the perfect ending for uh, this episode here. It's been fun. Uh, not too many people watching, but hey, it's our first time on Twitch, so. We'll keep it up tomorrow. I hope I can stream a little bit more tomorrow. I sort of had to set everything up today. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been fun. Thank you to Douglas there for uh, stopping into chat. And uh, for those uh, those watching over from uh, YouTube or curious about YouTube, uh, this will be uploaded onto our YouTube channel probably tonight. And... Uh, yeah, check out our YouTube channel if you're new to the game or curious about Crusader Kings 3. We've got tutorials and uh, other campaigns happening over there. So, yeah, lots to see, lots to check out, and we'll be back tomorrow with more Richard the Lionheart. So, yeah, thanks everyone. Have a great Friday night, and we'll see you next time on Crusader Chronicles.